Well, welcome to Saturday Football, round one of the playoffs for the Pee Wee Division. Today's matchup is between your Buta Bandits in gray against the Oilers, I believe from San Marcos, in the light blue and some red jerseys. And the Bandits are the visiting team today, so they're going to call the coin toss, and there it is up in the air. Of course, we can't hear to see what was called, what the result was but he'll turn the teams and give us some indication here momentarily. Also, special note, number 75 for the Bandits, Dusty Bear, as his mother, Marianne, calls him, says he would like to dedicate today's football game to her. So Marianne, consider yourself a lucky gal to have a son who would think of such a thing, and this one is for you. Bandits won the toss, and they chose to defer to the second half, so the Oilers this is actually confusing me. I did see him say that the Bandits won the toss and deferred to the second half. However, you would think that therefore the Oilers would have selected to receive. So unless I'm confused, the Oilers chose to kick. Spiraling kick, left side, cleanly fielded by number eight. And he slips down without a hand on him. So loss of footing there for Hudson Kelly. And no flags mean that's where the Bandits will start. First down from the 48. Rios at quarterback, and we've got early movement, which is often the case. Early football game jitters. It's going to be against the offense and move them back five yards. So first and 15, early Euler advantage in the series here. Drake, your deep man at the tailback spot. And it's going to be a handoff to the fullback, Dusty Bear, left side, dragging a couple guys and enforcing his will back to the original line of scrimmage for about a six-yard pickup. Same formation. Nobody split out wide for the Bandits. And we've got movement again, and this time it's going to be against the nose guard. Maybe call it the the two technique by number 12, playing on the defensive line, comes across prematurely. And now the Bandits have a very makeable second down. So five linemen across the front for the Oilers, trying to defend the Bandits. Rios hands to the deep man, that's Drake, left side. He cuts up the middle, and number 11 puts a good stick, but it's not enough to bring him down. And then Drake stiff arms a fella, and then it's four more to get him, and that's enough to move the chain. So... A good early hit, but not enough to bring Drake down. 11 showing his power. Same formation, first down, just outside the 40-yard line. And we've got a false start on the Bandits, their second of the day. So first and 15 now, back and forth, kind of yo-yoing we go with product productive runs and then penalties. 15's going to keep it right side. Seven's trying to track him, but isn't going to get him. Rios down the sideline, got the first down. He's still in bounds, and here he goes. And that's going to get him across. No laundry on the field, and 15 takes it nearly half the distance of the field for the first score of the game, 6 nothing Bandits. So after that long run, Josiah catches his breath and returns to under center. Extra point try here, and he's going to open to his right. He's going to keep it to the left, and nobody saw him, and he's in for the extra point conversion. 8 nothing Bandits. Bandits all bunched to the middle and the right side of the field. Nobody spread out. And so they're obviously aiming to the right side. Rios to kick. And Josiah gets a good boot, and that's a Bandit football. It went about 15 yards before anybody touched it. And the hustle of the right side of the offensive effort leads to a Bandit first down. Ball in the Oiler, 45-yard line, same formation. Rios to Drake, and he's going to try the right side, and he gets the edge, and he's got the first down across the 30, and he turns on the speed, and it's hard to catch 11 once he goes, and this one is going to result in another touchdown for the Bandits. 75 and 11, your backfield. Everybody in tight. No silent snap count in 15 just gooses him, gets the ball, and runs around the right side before anybody knew what had happened. And it counts. 16. Start of the second quarter, flips the direction of the field, and the Bandits set up to kick to their bench once again. So it's not necessarily the right side they're after, it's their bench that they're after. Coach is the target over there. And they're going to see if they can't get another one here. Josiah, left side kick. And this time, the Oilers have no problem, and they'll have it just inside Bandit territory. For their drive. So first play of offense for the Oilers as we're into the second quarter now. 34 is going to get it after he goes in motion. Cuts up. 
and a host of bandits there on the tackle, but there's a late flag and it's going to be a hold on the, uh, or a face mask rather. A face mask on the defense will give the Oilers a first down and move the sticks. So a big 15 yard infraction, not what the bandits had hoped for to start their first outing on defense. Shotgun, 64, hands the other way and that ball's on the ground. And Rios was close, 15 was closing in, but the Oiler backfield was able to get on it, loss of one. Second and 12, the down and distance. 64 lined up, five yards back for the shotgun, and he's gonna hand this time to 34 again, and he breaks through the tackle, and then it's Drake who tracks him down from the backside and rides him down as he crosses the 30 yard line, brings up third down. Third and seven, call it. And 34 this time checks in at the quarterback spot. And it's 64 is gonna go in motion and they're gonna fake to him. 34 wants to pass it and he does. And that ball is underthrown right at the feet of the intended receiver who slipped out from, I guess, the tight end position. Kelly and Drake near the receiver in coverage. Fourth down coming up. him and he's right there. Drake started to escort him. He was right there. He just laid into him. He was right in front of him, too. Yeah, but 34 is who ended up making the tackle. If he lays him out back here, that's a touchdown. I think the first, the first, your first rule, block the first guy who crosses your face. Now you got to hit him. It's got to be clean. It's got to be in front. Yeah, I know it would have been. You're right. I'm just saying that's something to, to remember. In your game, Low, 99, he blocked a guy on one of our runs, and, uh, and it was only like five, six yards away from the play, and the referee threw a flag and called it back and said that was that was unnecessary. He was way out of the play. And I think that was a crap call by the referee. Because he was trying to chase him out. He was trying to, and he probably wasn't going to catch him, but who cares? You're playing with the whistle blows. It was a clean block. So I thought that was poor on the referee's position. Two minutes. It's a rough sport. It's a rough sport, that's right. You gotta play fair, but I thought that was fair. This is the number one seed now for uh, the Kiwi Division of the Bears. They beat the Matadors, I think, last week. Look at that kid pull away. He gone. Matt Truck. That'd be a good name for your nickname, Mac. In the back, so. I don't know. Be careful. Those steps are broken, so you got to be real careful. Just walk down real careful. Yeah, the two in the middle are broken, so. Probably, probably, we should probably stay off the stairs if we can. You want to get down? You want me to help you down? I'll help you. Here. Look at me, I'm already back for the extra point. Didn't miss a thing. I 
think the Bandits could have had a <coughs> better season had they had Josiah quarterback earlier in the season. So, as I suspected, the Oilers are kicking off in the second half. So, Bandits are getting the ball both times, and that ball is fielded by Kelly again. He, of course, is the one who handled the first kickoff, and the Bandits will have it on their 42. So, first down for the Bandits, and Drake and Dusty in the backfield. Josiah to Dusty, following Drake, his lead blocker. Around the right side, Drake with a big hit, and then Dusty trips on the turf. It looked like I'm not sure that he got tackled but he just kind of lost his balance and down he goes, but he still gets five on the play. Kelly checks in the ball game for Drake, lines up in the backfield, and Rios is gonna hand it to him, and he's straight up the middle, and he drops that ball, it's free, and it's still loose, and I think the Bandits got it back. It looked like it came free from here, but the referee immediately went the other way, and they're gonna give it to him. So a turnover gives the Oilers the ball, and that ball hits the ground. Quarterback picks it up and is ridden down by 88, if I saw the number right. And it'll be second in about nine, 48. That was Aliman getting him. 34 at quarterback under the center. Two in the backfield behind him, and he's going to keep it left side all the way. And a big stick, but no wrap up. And he's got a little room, but he tries to cut back to the middle and finds the heart of the bandit defense, but he picks up four on the play. Third and six for the Oilers. And it looks like a wishbone formation. Well, it's a, it's a gun though, so it's just two behind the quarterback. 34, gonna try that left edge again. And he is hit, and that ball comes out. But the... And I, they say a bandit football, we got a shaken up Oiler. I believe it was the ball carrier on the play. So Bandit football, and we've got three off to the right, and Rios is going to follow all three of them and try that right edge, and he's got some room to run. First down, and he is still in bounds, and there he goes, and I don't see a flag, and that's going to be Rios' second score of the day. Referee says it counts, and if the extra point converts here, I believe it'll be a ball game with a 32-point spread. Extra point is going to be Drake left side. Now he goes through up the middle and he trots across for the conversion. And that takes it to a 32-0 score here in the third quarter. And I believe that will be the end of this one. And that's how this one will end. 32-0. Bandits get the win and they'll advance in the championship side of the bracket next week. And we'll see who they're playing and we'll see you guys at that point.